and welcome everyone to part one of my brand new Bellacore let's play for total war warhammer 3 on immortal empires i'm streaming recording this at the same time over on my twitch I'll be uploading regular uploads of this stream series to youtube as well in about hour or so chunks so the embargo is now down i'm going to dive into Bellacore campaign start off our shadow legion adventure for the next three hours and uh, then we'll be streaming more of this next week so uh, check out the stream schedule discord twitter and youtube community tab on monday so you don't miss any of the bellicor action and there'll be lots more immortal empires content coming very soon the embargo for the champions of chaos is tuesday the 16th and we'll be starting a valkyr series which will be youtube only so don't miss that there's currently a vote on the youtube community tab to decide whether we do that valkyr campaign as immortal empires or realms of chaos because they have their own unique story to go after their own unique objective so bellicor warriors of chaos faction effects uh, human lords can be corrupted into becoming demon princes when defeated in battle or targeted by heroes starts with all chaos god gift slots uh, already unlocked um, upkeep minus 25 percent for demon units lord effects plus two uh, for all authority and he has the shadow shroud ability starting units we have bloodless of corn blue horrors of zinch chaos warriors spawn of slanesh plague bearers of nurgle marauders demonets of slanesh and spawn of zinch our start position is over on albion law wise there's a quick little snapshot of it all the main thing to highlight here is our kind of race effects warriors of chaos we have dark fortresses which establish bases of power to vassalize and recruit followers of chaos chaos gifts purchase god aligned gifts to strengthen your faction in various ways and war bands gather warriors and upgrade them into more powerful units settings very hard very hard difficulty now this is also new in immortal empires end game difficulty and also end game scenarios so we currently have a trigger on a long victory um if we've managed to complete that long victory before the turn timer range as well which is um a chance that it will trigger so it will trigger either on a long victory or turn time between turn 100 and 150 an end game a specific event there's the black pyramid a grudge too far the biggest war the wild hunt and vampiric ascension so one of those will be chosen at random as our as our game's current um end game scenario that we'll have to face um you've also got difficulty slider and i don't quite feel like going all the way to the end but let's try it at 150 for this campaign and see how bad that gets you also get an early warning timer one thing you can also do and i think i may well do a fair few streams trying this out is you can lower how soon the end game can come so between turn 10 and turn turn 35 but uh, we want this to be a you know fairly lengthy proper full campaign but we will mess about with a fair few legendary lords see if we can maybe take on some end game challenges within a very short time scale but that would be absolutely brutal but you can increase it all the way up to 500 if you want to uh 60 minutes low advisor let bellicor's reign of terror begin here we go There is no escape from the Dark Master. There we go. We're on the Immortal Empires campaign. Immortal Empires Beta. Welcome to the Immortal Empires Beta, our grandest and most ambitious Total War campaign ever. Spanning content from all three games and all the DLCs in Total War Warhammer Trilogy, this truly is the Warhammer world brought to life and our long-term vision realized. Well, almost. The beta label means that we still have some work to do, so it's not the finished article. There's plenty to enjoy with empires to raise, battles to fight, alliances to forge, and enemies to conquer. But we also have a number of bugs to fix, balance passes to do, and content slash systems to improve. Like Mortal Empires before it, Immortal Empires will grow and develop beyond its beta launch with bug fixes, quality of life improvements, and new content. And we'll be acting on your feedback throughout. So have fun, enjoy the world we've created so far, and we welcome any and all feedback you may have about your experiences with Immortal Empires. So yeah, make sure you're on the Total War Discord for all that and the forums. Right, so there isn't a how they play in there yet for Bellacore, but um, a good snapshot of 
things that will be faction effects and things like that is if we press escape, we can look at warbands and dark authority, souls and gifts of chaos, dark fortresses and Norsken homelands, and paths to glory. So we'll quickly run through these so we know the mechanics, and then we will dive into our first battle and unleash Belakor and his Shadow Legion of Fury. So Warbands. Warriors of Chaos muster their armies instantly from the local area, while their Warbands allow them to transform recruits into more powerful forms or devote them to specific Chaos Gods to align them with their Lord's Dark Authority. Warband recruitment in each province is affected by climate, corruption, and buildings. Unit availability is previewed via the tooltip on the settlement bar icon. Dark Authority. Warriors of Chaos, Lords, and Heroes exert Dark Authority over their armies based on their allegiance to one or none, if undivided, of the four Chaos Gods, benefiting their marked or undivided units. An army's Dark Authority levels and effects are viewed above the character info panel and can be affected by the skills, traits, and ancillaries of its Lords and Heroes. Souls and Gifts of Chaos Souls Warriors of Chaos factions collect the souls of mortals who they defeat. In turn, they can sacrifice them to their gods in return for powerful gifts of chaos or ascend characters through paths to glory. Souls are acquired by winning battles and raising settlements against all factions except Khorne, Slanesh, Zinch, Nurgle, or Demons of Chaos whose souls have already been claimed. Gifts of Chaos The Chaos Gods offer powerful gifts to their champions, empowering them in return for the mortal souls sacrificed in their name. Souls can be sacrificed for rewards such as faction-wide boons and demonic units uh, in the Gifts of Chaos panel, accessed from the main campaign interface. Dark Fortresses and Norsken Homelands. Dark Fortresses. Warriors of Chaos can construct Dark Fortresses sprawling chaos settlements, uh, which they use as centers of power to exert their ruinous influence. Some Dark Fortresses are also Norsken Homeland capitals, allowing the vassalization of entire Norsken tribes when occupied. Dark Fortresses are special major settlements constructed in specific regions in Norska, the Chaos Wastes, and other key locations. Norsken Homelands. As they erect dark fortresses across the Norsken Homelands, the Warriors of Chaos can vassalize the local tribes through the conquest of their homeland capitals, forcefully gaining their unwavering loyalty. Norsken Homelands are indicated by the associated tribe's faction icon on the settlement bars, with homeland capitals denoting the icon's tooltips. And finally, Paths to Glory. All the followers of Chaos have a shared goal, to seek power and ascension by any means necessary, even at the risk of damnation. Thusly, Warriors of Chaos characters can follow a path to glory to progress into new and more powerful forms with demonhood as the ultimate reward. Lords and heroes can become more powerful beings by being granted marks of chaos via their path to glory tab of their character's details panel. There we go. So that's how they play. We obviously have um, the Harbinger as our unique faction effect for Belakor. But there he is. Belakor. There he is. So he starts off with 70 melee attack, 55 defense, weapon strength of 500. He's got his Shadow Shroud for plus 40% damage resistance. Quick little look across his skill tree. I don't know if this has been changed actually much from when you unlock him in Warhammer 3 after completing the main campaign in uh, Realm of Chaos, to be honest. But there's briefly his skill tree, and we'll go through that more as uh, we continue through the campaign. Blade of Shadow, we unlock that at rank 7. So starting army, we've got the Warband upgrades here. Undivided, we have a solid roster. So Bellicor gets access to a selection of troops from all the chaos gods mainly being able to get some of their some of their unique sort of low and mid tier troops but it's undivided where he gets a full solid roster uh, we've also got regiments renown in good good and we get gifted units as well i'm gonna take that hell cannon straight away I'm also going to take the pink horrors and I am going to go for some blood letters as well. Let's you recruit them all in. We start off with an exalted hero, Twitch chat. I'm going to need you guys to think of some names for this guy. Throw some suggestions in chat and I'll pick my favorite in a little bit. But let's pop him into Bellicor's army. There is only war. The first. So he will have a path to glory. Boons of Chaos. Um, we get these by completing various challenges. We've got Corruptor, which is end your turn, a friendly region with less than minus 50% control. 
That's Corrupter. Mage Hunter. Win a battle against an army led by a spellcaster. Eldritch Aura. So we should actually get that in a minute because we're about to face off against a Zinch Lord spellcaster. And Mortal Champion. Win a battle against any demon race. Oh, perfect. Lovely. We can unlock both of those. Right, let's just tweak our champion's name. Cubheart the Chosen. Named after my boy. Right. Let's hope we don't lose him. Let's go attack. Sightless Zinch. Sightless of Zinch. And yeah, we could just auto resolve slam it. But let's see Bellicor in action and dive on into our first battle. In we go. Cubheart Father Slayer. Oh, please don't. <laughs> the Tim the Enchanter tradition will continue when we actually have an Enchanter character, but our exalted hero is not a spellcaster. Hence, no Enchanter. But yeah, we'll make a Chaos Sorcerer Lord, I think. Greatness in battle may only be reached. The right advisor. I think I know what I'm doing. So here be the mad lad himself. Tormentor of souls and challenger of the gods. Bellacore. Hell cannon. With questionable testicle launchers. Get that there. Let's form up the infantry. I don't think we need to actually bother engaging too much with them, the enemy. To be honest, we should be able to take them out of range. Use the horrors. We need to change their grouping. Missile front line. Pull these guys back. Exalted hero. Check out the exalted hero. There he is. That's a nice axe you got there. I think I know what I'm doing. Famous last words. Yeah. Could be. We've got some spawn of Nurgle. Spawn of Zinch. Yeah, what the hell was Spawn of Nurgle? That was Plague Bears of Nurgle, sorry. Spawn of Zinch and Spawn of Slanesh. These guys have got Devastating Flank, haven't they? Yeah, that's going to be fun. I'll start the battle. Dark Master. I am a herald. Be sure to position your troops. Yeah, it's reset all my advice, so that's why it all keeps popping up again. Lord of Torment. Get him, Bellacourt. Exalted hero in. Send the spawn in. Absolutely ruining the exalted order change. Tree, but you 
There we go. He's down with a final sword slash. Bellicor fells his first flow. His first foe. lost seven acceptable losses he deals a good chunk of damage can we name one of the chaos abominations sparkles <laughs> sparkles the chaos abomination i feel that that is apt his first foe in millennia that's true yeah the first flow foe <laughs> beautiful um, replenishment actually won't really do a huge amount. Get a little bit of extra further, but you know what? We gained quite a lot with that. Post battle loot. I'll take it. There we go. Bellacor. So we're going to go hit that. Should also say, have a look at this. My oh so lovely personal shadow rift. Um, this rift can only be entered by a lord belonging to Bellacor and cannot be closed. We actually get to create more shadow rifts across the world which is pretty cool, as Bellacor, using the um, Unholy Manifestations. It's this one. So it's the Zinch aligned one. The Curse's Boon opens a rift in the province that the target army is positioned in. So when you go off Conquering, and if you want to bring up reinforcements or jump back to your capital, pop a portal, pop a rift, a shadow rift, and you can then instantly teleport back and forth whenever you want. I assume these rifts stay forever. There's a cooldown upon activation. It doesn't say there's anything about the rifts disappearing and they can't be closed. So this is something I really, really like. Um, so you can get teleports to go all over the place. We currently have one use of it. Um, the number of uses can be increased by defeating armies belonging to Chaos Gods or sacrificing souls. Currently, if we sacrifice 2,000 souls, we'll gain another use of it. Obviously, we're not going to pop that just yet. Um, so yeah, we can vassalize the Vanla Heimlings who start this off over here at mine. the Isle of White. The crown of um, is mine. I feel like all the time that we can vassalize the Norskans, we might as well with Bellacor. We might eventually take them all out and conquer the whole world ourselves. But I think in place where there aren't um, Norskans and Dark Fortresses to take that way and vassalize them, we'll just go and conquer whatever we want. But um, while there is the option for that, I think we'll take that. Take a look at the objectives the campaign. There's no missions. I don't know if there are any missions me. in this build for Bellacor or anything like that pops up. So it is a bit more sandbox focused. But we'll be loosely going kind of pacing out our strategy across the various victory conditions so short victory we need to defeat the seduce of Solnesh who start off uh, over on all one and then also we need to take out uh, the decadent host which I believe is the faction name for Sigvald and then we also need to take out the sightless which we are working towards doing right now. We need to control at least six of the following settlements, either by direct ownership or through vassals. So yeah, we need to move north by the looks of things and also go through Norska. So I think that's what we will try and do. Doom keep. Yeah, that's what we'll aim to do first. That will kind of dictate our initial, I guess, starting expansion. So we'll go jump over here to the Vanaheim Mountains and then a leap on up here. Swing on round through Nagarond a bit. Have some fun. Um, don't vassalize. We're going to be taking the Dark Fortress. Don't worry. That, that will still vassalize them, though. That's the cool thing about the feature. Um, when we get that reward, we we complete the short victory. We get short victory achieved. Um, plus 30 wins of magic per turn all armies. That's great. Long victory, which is what we'll push for with this campaign. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack 80 different settlements. We also need to destroy Reichland. Karazakarak, Karone, Talson, the Wood Elves, Oxyotl, Oxyotl, Hexyotl, rather, Etain, the Northern Provinces, and the Ice Court. So that really will take us right across the map. So there we go. It's going to be a long one. Strap in for months ahead of Bellacor action. But first of all, we need to give him Root Marcher. Because that's always our opening chess move. Right, now let's take this settlement. It's Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties. Apparently we won't lose anyone completely, but I reckon we can do better than that. I'm assuming Bellacor's siege attacker. Yes, he is. Lovely. Let's dive on in and claim the Dark Fortress.
Is Sword of Cain still in the Mortal Empires and am I going to get it? Um, I assume it's still in here. And yeah, if we can grab it, why not? I will be looking to start another Immortal Empires campaign in the not too distant future because we are getting close to finishing up our Kislev campaign. So there will probably be another Immortal Empires campaign that we do in the not too distant future as well alongside this one, plus the Valkyrie the Bloody campaign as well. Have all my infantry together. Where's the best spot to strike? Oh, there. There's only one tower. Nope, there's two towers, but that's still good. This is the spot. Need to be a little bit careful with Bellacor. His armor's only 45. So he's, a, he's a smidge squishy. Send them all in. Bellacor go up this way. Actually going up on the walls? They are, some of them. I mean, it's kind of huge now. Um, I don't think it's that much bigger from what it was in Mortal Empires, right? Because you had Rakarth over here before. Faction do I have in my opinion? I honestly have no idea what my next Immortal Empires campaign would be, to be honest. I kind of, I knew I wanted to play as Bellacor, and that was about it, to be honest. So I'm really open to all and any suggestions. Attack the mortals. Honk. God Slayer. God Slayer Honk. If you're very confused as to why I just honked YouTube, uh, it's because we have a Twitch chat redeem to make me honk. Like a goose. That, that about explains it, right? <laughs> Well, that's happening. Bring the infantry forward. The blue bar above the units is the their Zinch unit, so they get a shield. Feed me souls. Yeah, straightforward battle this one. We've just got to uh, cut our way through all the missile troops. I reckon we could uh, do it with less casualties. Yes! Than the order resolve would give us. We're nearly through that gate. The infantry's marching on up. Chaos Warriors. Oh, it's good to see you guys back, Chaos Warriors. I've missed you. Better call looking a little bit low on health there. Yeah, powers getting yet. And if I can tell you to drop down now. It's supported by the infantry on the ground. the gate though get stuck in boys hell cannon keep firing over there more towers firing those are slightly just acted fine 
if I can get you guys up there, that'd be great. In fact, I'll tell you guys to climb. Take him out, Bellacool. They're only Chaos Furies. Friend. Give us carnage. Well, they are pretty persistent. Lord of torment. Charge. All right, so take flight. Let's see if we can do a sneaky capture at the back. Will I do a Festus campaign? I will eventually play through all the Champions of Chaos. Uh, but I really wanted to fight, or rather play, as um, Valkyr first. Demon is getting munched. That four towers now ours. It's good. General is slain, my lord. Nice. Exalted hero. Our hero is doing great. My God's call. Bring them all down. It's only a matter for they all crumble. Get them. There is that tower to contend with. This Probably going to need to take that one up. God, they know that they know what I'm trying to do. They're building another tower to stop me going for the sneaky back cap. But no need because my force has broken them with a decisive victory. We did lose the demonettes, but we probably still lost less than the Order of Salt was going to give us with medium casualties anyway. Maybe a community poll. Yeah, we will do. We will do probably a vote for the other um, Immortal Empires campaign that I do. It won't necessarily start on release. It'll start once I finish my Kislev campaign, which will probably take another couple of weeks. But we'll still need to whittle down because you can only have five options, I think, on a YouTube community tab poll, and there are way more than uh, than five <laughs> legendary lords to play as. Right, we're going to occupy and vassalize. It will give us 500 souls as well. And it will vassalize the Vanaheimlings. So they are now our vassal. We still will be able to use the command when we take the Sister of Lead. So we'll push towards that. Put on Bellacor, gain a lot of experience. We are going to get some spells. Pendulum, yes please. My favorite spell still is Pit of Shades. I love it favorite vortex back to former glory so we've also got some souls and because we now have a settlement we have now unlocked our gifts to chaos um we've got another one of the cursed boon because it was another it was a chaos god faction uh zinch one so that's given us some more there which is good lovely lovely so yeah that one gives us opens a rift in the province um, that we can then use our shadow rift network to jump through dark prince's secret immediate uh, causes immediate damage to target army and we also get gifted units as well when we pop them. Plus 10 no corruption with plague rares. Don't know if I'll bother with that one that much. The blood god's grudge. That would be quite useful. Um, is that just across our whole army? Maybe. That's pretty cool. Uh, research. We're going to have scrutiny of the dark gods. So unit experience gain plus 25% for marauders. Uh, upgrades gifts. Um... Raiders, Remnant. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that up, when we finish that research, it actually upgrades one of our okay, Gifts of Chaos. So let's take a look at that whole system. Oh, I can't do a Bane impression. I don't have a cup. Like this one won't work. I don't know if it works. work. As the city falls, we shall rise. Maybe that worked. Bit of Bane. There we go. Auto didn't lose anybody, no, but we still would have had more casualties. We only lost 145. 
So we still did better by fighting that one. Look at the Zinchi eye following the mouse around. <laughs> that one breathes fire. This one you can swat the flies. Splat, 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 splat. Slanesh just gets a bit shiny when you click on Slanesh. Little, little UI things. Little UI things. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we've got all the slots initials initially unlocked. There's an extra slot to unlock for each of the Chaos Gods. So our undivided gifts are here. We can get some Fury of Chaos. Uh, so we get some Chaos Furies. Uh, you just be added, instantly added to your gifted pool and every three turns afterwards. And it when you so you, you have an initial cost of souls for each of these to add to your active slot to essentially equip it. And then you have an upkeep cost that you'll pay every turn for keeping it equipped and keeping its um its effects active. So that research we're going through, Raiders uh Rement um is over here. So that will when we finish that research, we'll also get plus twenty five percent experience gain from Marauders, which we will want. That will be quite useful because of the whole warband upgrade system. Um, but do we want any of these Shatterstones used for siege battles? But we've got Siege Attacker, but that will bring down walls. Uh, we unlock more of these as we get more souls. And as we sacrifice more souls, there's so many different ones in here. We'll take a proper look through them all again as we keep on playing. Corn stuff here, experience, character experience per turn. Plus 100 all characters. That's quite nice. Uh, we can't get it just yet. We need to have uh, sacrificed 1,000 souls, though. Income from post-battle loot, plus 35%. Income from raising settlements, plus 35%. I, mean, I don't think we'll be raising any settlements just yet, but um, I may well... That post-battle loot's quite nice. So I might go for that one. Um, gifts of Zinch. There's a research rate boon. That'll be kind of helpful. Comes at the cost of minus 10 control all provinces, though. Slanesh. Incoverable buildings at the cost of 10 control. Chariots. Seeker chariots. Campaign at movement range. That's going to be great. Does come at a hefty upkeep cost, though. And Nurgle, Nurgle, Nurgle. Growth per region plus 75 after winning a battle. That would be, wouldn't be terrible early on. I think. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep these going for more than a single, like, turn or two. Um, but I kind of want to try out. Let's go for Death's Bounty. And growth per region plus 75 after winning a battle all provinces. I'm going to pop that next turn. So I don't know if it will take into account that we've just won that one. I'll take, I'll do it next turn after we then go for the Citadel of Lead. Or before we go for the Citadel of Lead. Right. So we've now got um, Conquata. So we've got our Dark Fortress here. Gives us a decent bit of income. We also get a fair amount through raid trophies as well. And income for post-battle loot plus 4% faction-wide. So if you have those stacking, you're going to be earning a pretty penny as you go through. I think there's also authority, dark authority boosters through minor settlements if we take any of those. But we won't claim any of those here, most likely. Um, let's go for... Yeah, raid trophies right now. Uh, we could get more marauders and some chariots. Uh, we should be able to get plenty of marauders, though, through Take heed. warband recruitment. We've got plus 20, 26% to gain some more to our recruitment pool, our warband recruitment pool um, next turn. And these guys are instant. I am the harbinger. Instant recruitment. Mine. But then as they gain experience, which is why we want that uh, extra experience boon and research... We can then, at level 5, rank 5, we can start upgrading them. So Marauders can become Chaos Warriors or Chaos Warriors with Great Weapons or Chaos Warriors with Halberds. Forsaken at rank 3, so you can send them that way if you want to, and they can also turn to Chaos Spawn through that line, and eventually all the way up to Aspiring Champions. Uh, we have to unlock that with tech and research. We can also um, get them into Chaos Warriors. Marauders would have to become Chaos Warriors first. Then you could, once we've researched the corresponding research, uh, which for corn is the Searing Branding Iron, we could then mark the Chaos Warriors to be marked with corn, 
with Korn's mark, and then that way they can become Chaos Warriors of Korn, uh, or dual weapons, or halberds. And there's other variants as well there for other um, upgrades as well. So we can also upgrade our blood letters with uh, blood pact if we want to as well, which is pretty cool. Lots of nasty bits and pieces that we can get uh, through that. But Bellicor's main uh, strength is through his undivided. So we can see our authority there, which is the, uh, the dark authority. We get various bonuses as we go up from... I guess zero, well, probably one's the lowest, I guess. One all the way through to ten. Mainly, it's casualty replenishment, upkeep cost reduction, recruitment cost reduction, and warband upgrade costs for that specific Chaos Gods units. And then undivided. Um, yeah, we've got that higher because we've got more authority, more dark authority in all of that. God maker. Let's pop a point into training for you. For chaos, the first and then, yeah, this one we're going to go for gross as well. Um, diplomacy. We now have the Vanheimlings as a vassal. They are improving. Enter then. Can't quite are get trade yet. Drink, a fist fight or both. War coordination. Attack target, defend target, occupy target. So we can get them to start going out and harassing. Um, allow me to get marauders, but they'd actually be properly recruited, wouldn't they? Uh, I don't think that'll add to our war band pool. I don't think I want that just yet. But that's fine. Who have you over here? Oh, um, Siko. We'll leave you for now. Right. Don't think there's anything else we can do. Let's end the turn. Like 30, 40 minutes. First turn. Bada bing, bada boom. Sounds about right. So, yeah. Over, what, 270 plus factions at the start. Takes a little while. Still fairly snappy though. Ah, the slaughter begins. The first damned. Right, Cubart gained a level rank, so Blade Master, please. My prayers are answered. Right, we're gonna pop another Chaos Gift. Actually, I should have I should have popped that this turn. I shouldn't have popped it um, last turn. We are going to go for the Nurgle one, which is growth per region, plus 75 after winning a battle. So we've got 450 souls left, and both we're losing 100 souls per Call turn. Me master. In he goes. Decisive victory. Not going to lose anybody. Auto resolve. Your death will be inconsequential. Beautiful. Thanks for all the loot. Charm shield. We've also gained some experience as well. Gaining ranks like crazy. So we can occupy it. We can sack it. We can subjugate them. Um, we can raise it or we can gift it to our vassal. I I kind of actually would like to check out what the... I was going to gift... I was thinking I'd gift it to the Vanheimlings. Ah, oh, I'm kind of tempted to take it myself. Thanks, Twitch, for voting. We're just going to take it. Take it for me, Harbinger. So, we get altars at minor settlements. And all we can build is a little bit of infrastructure. That's it. Today we found out. So we can get trouble garrison if we need more marauders, but it gives us undivided corruption. Gives a bit of garrison in there. And we can get some more raid trophies from it if we really want. There we go. I could probably still gift it, couldn't I? The Vanaheimlings? My fellow warlords converge. Yeah, you could have that if you really want. Tong come south. Let's get a trade agreement with them anyway. It is done. Right. Let's just go for... Uh, seems we can't get over one tier for growth. We're getting all that from the Gift of Chaos as well, aren't we? 
Let's get that ticking up in through here. Building surplus plus 20, I think so, maybe. Should be active. Growth per region, all provinces plus 75 after winning a battle. Did that not count because it was a settlement battle? Maybe. Let's just take more. Well, like 400 extra gold is not bad. God maker. Lord of torment. We'll take enfeebling foe, please. Skill acquired. What can I get next? A bit of replenishment, pretty much. The four token. Marmot is now available. Undivided marauders. Exploit vassals. Yeah, let's do that. Exploit them. We can do quite a few of those, but there's no point. Uh, it's province-wide, I think. The portal. Yep. There's no point here. Um, that'll be the Van Heimlings. So it'll be gifted over to them. There must be... The Dark Master. A dark fortress over here where we could vassalize the World Walkers. So let's see if we can go do that. End the turn. Let's go after Wolfric. Oh, it takes a turn to pop still to activate it. So I should have done it last turn. Great. The Chaos Gift. Son of a gun. All goes if we keep plan. fighting battles, it will still be active. Uh, although I'm going to run out of souls soon, aren't I? Um, I'm assuming that I can't pop it. The first damned. How do we feel, Percy, again, about them? Fall. Are you here to negotiate? No, I don't necessarily want to go into treaties because we could go for a little bit of raiding against Corone. His army looks nasty. Kari's over there. Come. What do we need for Chaos Sorcerers? Chaos Shrine. Okay. See, our Tim is probably going to be a Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Probably of fire. Lord of Torment. Definitely afford more units. I've uh, got any more gifts. A few. Warhounds, Poison. Just take everything we could possibly get. Submit to the bearer. The first. And yeah, Last let's see if we can head over here, harbinger. subjugate the world walkers. Hoping by getting over here we can find out we can see that settlement. But actually no, once we get here we can then just pop a Curses boom. That can now be upgraded. Lovely. Tim the Shadow Flamed. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That sounds good. finished our research as well um souls gained from battle hello yes let's go towards that as soon as possible more souls please so that requires us to go through dark diplomacy which gives us more allegiant points gain to alliances with skaven uh, alliance and vassal uh, vassalage with skaven beastman norska nice it is mine now the sea Aspiring champions. Uh, she is most likely to be found in the province of very high chaos, undivided corruption. Hello. God maker. Yes. Uh, I'm taking some trolls as well. Join me. Hello. That's what I want. Lord of Shadows. Oh boy. Right. Let's the also pop master. this on Bellacourt. 
and see where it places this rift perform give me a shadow rift frozen hearts fracture there it is shadow rift rift providing passage for bellicor's faction so i'm pretty sure it's not just bellicor as well it's like other armies and stuff can go through them which is pretty cool um cannot be closed oh yes the four token so um i think that's over there so we're just gonna head over that way this is right and see if we can find their dark fortress to subjugate them northman come marauders all unfortunately i can't tell you guys to go through there just bit of shame. And ravage. this is fine um that one's being upgraded We are losing control right now because we've got it on the warband replenishment. Construction cost. Okay, let's switch that over while we're not there. Let's just go for, yeah, more undivided corruption, please. And uh, we could always hit troll fuel actually on our way. Let's go do it. Saying my faction doesn't let my vassal, yeah, it unfortunately doesn't let our vassals travel through it, which I guess kind of makes sense because Shadow Rift would be Bellacore's thing, but that's fine. But yeah, it's running, running really nice on the campaign map. Okay, off. What am I getting up here? The first damned. Right, forty-five FPS right now. Right, we can't do any more training. You've unlocked a Chaos Steed. We haven't got a Mark of Chaos yet. Oh, we've got both of those already so far. Nice. Doesn't take you long. Um, Charm Shield is with Bellacore. So with you, we are going to... Yeah, just increase your Deadly Blaze to make you an absolute ah, monster. The begins. You may think that. Raiding doesn't get me any souls, does it? Follow me. Okay, hit that next turn. Me, and then we'll go for their... Uh... The first Star Fortress and vassalize them. Fear. What I'll probably do is just sack that. We'll face off against Wolfric. Defend target, that's cool. But orders like that always the same for vassals. I don't think I've ever had a vassal before in Warhammer 3. Was it always attack, defend, occupy like that? That's quite useful. Have them conquer the world around me. I don't like snow either. Doesn't like snow either. It's new custom UIs across lots of different uh, factions. I could probably do that next Thursday. Okay, next Thursday I want to do kind of like a Q&A. Just jump into lots of different factions. Show you guys their first few turns. What they're like. And... Uh, yeah, just check out kind of any things that you're like, oh, can you check this out in Immortal Empires? Yep. Lord of Shadows. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna lose souls. Three. Don't do a battle. Declare war. Call in the Van Heimlings. Just... Hello, Wolfric. I am. I think I want to fight this one because I mainly want to pendulum someone's face off. And also aspiring champions. Tim the Shadow Flame. Oh, we have a vote for which uh, non binding pole? <laughs> Shadow Flame, Dark Flame, or Firebringer for our Tim? I like Tim the Shadow Flame. I like that as a name for our. our when we have another army, it would be a Chaos, Chaos Sorcerer Lord of Fire. Please say you told your men not to eat the yellow snow. I mean, adds a bit of flavor, doesn't it? 
yeah so there's there's we started off with 200 i want to say 275 factions something like that we checked total war put it on their post yesterday 278 starting factions 533 regions in immortal empires there hasn't been a vampire campaign for a while yeah that's true I do have a video out on my YouTube channel right now where I basically ask for what other lord would you like to see me fight uh, fight on Immortal Empires to play as, rather, um, and why. So if you do have a suggestion for, because I, th I just said, once my Kislev campaign ends, I reckon I'll have space and time in my schedule to set up another Immortal Empires campaign. So please do pop your suggestions there as well so I can see that after the stream. Also in that video, it links to where you can vote on the YouTube community tab for my channel. For which campaign I should do my uh, Valkyr Champion of Chaos series on. Immortal Empires or Realm of Chaos. Realm of Chaos has a narrative story to it. Immortal Empire is obviously ultimate sandbox. Aspiring champions, I feel, yeah, linked with the exalted hero. He's on his horse now. Yeah, Chaos, Chaos ponies are now uh, all properly sized up as well. They don't look like little Shetland ponies anymore. We spread out enough to confuse them enough. How much do we need for pendulum? 13. So much damage. You guys are going to absolutely annihilate here. You guys are free just to run on in there. Two, one, pendulum. You guys go forward. Yes. Here they come. Delightful to see, really, isn't it? Nice. I seek. Mashed our way through him here. There 
Hella cool. Hella cool. Pendulum. Arcanus new attack. I haven't. Literally, all I've done with access so far to Mortal Empires is pretty much this. I haven't had too much time to test anything else out. I like jumped through a few factions and just check out their start positions for a few turns, and that's about it. That's all I've had time to kind of do with early access so far. So this is the most Immortal Empires I've played so far. Probably because we want to vassalize them and then to have a decent bit of territory. So I'm probably going to just sack this one. So it won't let me. It won't allow me to subjugate them because uh, they've got another settlement already. Playing this on very hard, very hard difficulty, which is what I play all my cam campaigns on. I mean, we didn't really need to fight that one. I just wanted to use pendulum. Just wanted to test out my magic. Yeah, Bellacore feels like a fairly, fairly strong lad. Nice. What's our post battle? Uh, nine, five, six. Okay. Getting 101 souls. That's good. Tops up a bit. Um, we could raise it. That would give us some more souls. And I guess we could just tell them to occupy it. They probably would go out and occupy it, wouldn't they? Yeah, let's, uh, let's raise it. Give me some souls, please. So we'll head up here. That's where the Dark Fortress will be. The first demon prince. Withering. Yes, please. Actually, yeah, what's the, what's the rest of it? What's the Dark Master? Ooh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I'm going to get that, actually, the Dark Master. It is kind of our namesake right now. That's pretty cool. We get Lord of Torment at rank 12. One who heralds the Conquerors. Very nice. Blood and Magic. That's for... Z oh, it gives, a, it gives a boon for... Each of the gods. Zinch uh, demon units get plus 20% barrier. Nurgle will get plus 12 melee defense. Weapon strength plus 16% 16 for corn demon units. And charge bonus plus 18% for Slanesh. That's that's some pretty nice improvements there. Whisper in Darkness, Father in Shadow. And Messenger of the Great Undivided. All the corruption. Skill acquired. Starting to get some XP. Got a good spread. Got a good chance of getting more trolls up here, actually. The first. Um, do we actually have any available? We can get some Forsaken in. And some hounds. Um, nah, let's just leave them for now. Let's give you some good bit of money actually having that. This is fine. Right, end the turn. It is indeed Richard Armitage voicing Bellacore. Fifty Shades pre present Bellacore. <laughs> Uh, 
ba, 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 ba. If you go for that uh favor from all buildings plus 30 percent that's not bad and it would give us sorcerers as well this will get us exalted heroes chaos that we could straight up recruit chaos warriors I'm gonna go for some sorcerers. I fancy some sorcerers. Lord of Shadows, from the shadows. Ah, oh, can I? Have I still not discovered the their building? The dark master. You may think that. Moving now. Let's yeah, there it is. This. Right. Oh, I don't know where Wolfric is then. Who is he at war with? To start with. Besides us. Vanaheimlings, who are over here. Wolfric. And Negelfarlings, so you must have gone after them. You're down to one settlement, though. You're pretty strong. You guys are yes. really weak. Um, can you... Do you want to go after... After Caron? Probably just harass him a bit, maybe. Varg. What? I'm told you want to talk. I'd like to parlay. Can I offer assistance? Hi, Coffee. Speak your deceitful words yeah, you don't want to do that, do you? Nope, that's a hard pass from the elves. Lord of Torment. Yeah, so none of the, I can't upgrade any of these because they're only rank one right now. Uh, about to finish that. Uh, oh, yes, actually, that would be a thing. 75 growth after finishing one. Uh, if I swap that out, though, I'm not going to be able to replace it just yet with the, the this one, the, the broader gain. But that buff for them is quite nice. I think we will switch over to that from that one. But we'll keep it running for one more turn because we should maybe next turn or the turn after hit that. We can just about afford it. Yeah, Bellicor has the warband upgrade system that uh, the other warriors of chaos faction because he is a warrior of chaos lord. So he gets that overhaul upgrade uh, and faction mechanic gonna be going after stig the glutton so i wonder if these guys count as a like i i don't know i don't quite know how his whole mechanic ar around turning humans into corrupting them into demon lords works precisely it works it only works against humans but maybe probably maybe it doesn't work against norskins what's this Authority questioned. Rawly vassals have risen to question your might. Should you put on demonstration of your strength or challenge them directly? Unbridled ferocity or send in the enforcers? Tribute from vassals plus 20%. Um, yeah. Overwhelming perforce. Send in the enforcers. Nice. Culling the weak. Souls gain from battle plus 20%. Thank you. Harbinger. This Still can't right. get there yet. You're a pretender. Here's a load of marauders. I reckon we'll have them. So I'm just going to move Follow them all up here. Wins. We can still recruit actually in other territory, can't we? So we could actually do that. The first demon prince. Can't replace that one though because, uh, well, if we at least want to lose some punishment. Yeah, merge them up. It's fine. Can I take out this lord? Assassinate. Not a great chance. Assault the garrison? It's a chance of doing that, to be fair. That's probably worth going for. Doubles you up. Bit more training. Because yeah, we, we want all the training we can possibly do. That is a Dark Fortress. Oh, that turns... That's the Vanaheimlings. Oh, so, it's, so you can't vassalize uh, Lord Walkers. Oh, wait, maybe we'll get an op maybe we'll get an option to actually we take this, but then we wouldn't get the Dark Fortress site. We probably want the Dark Fortress. Oh, Warfare, it looks like you're gonna die, mate. Where there are shadows. Uh, growth per region plus seventy five. After winning a battle, all provinces. Yeah, so it should be everywhere that one. I haven't seen it happen yet, unless I'm reading uh, reading it wrong. My truth. Probably can't vassalize playable laws like that. Yeah, that's true. Okay. 
Yes, we'll just have to kill them. Oh no. What a shame. Let's find another dark fortress for myself. The dark master. Oh, Wolfric not, came back. Not a chance. Oh, I must have just brought him back in. All goes to plan. Ah, oh, ruddy Ek. Fool. Okay, off. I've enough. I've been ad. The first damned. Drift. That plus the garrison. You know nothing. Feral mammoths. Not so good. Got at least two double mammoths. Yeah, he's forced March back in there. Lord of I Torrent. am gonna want to try and ambush then. Here we stay. Drawing power. Venture forth. Try and assault his units. It's a failure. It didn't reveal any more of them. It's a regiment renown. He starts off with that. Or he was able to get that straight away. Huh? Damn. Okay, I am going to throw in some Forsaken. Let's see if we can get him. Definitely want to fight Wolfric, though. Ooh, you guys are coming. Yes. Defend target, attack target. Can I can I tell you to Oh yeah, defend me. Follow me around then, Vanaheimlings. Come help me out. Let's see if that works. That'd be cool. If I were to recruit another lord, how much would that insufficient funds to actually recruit them, yeah. Do they have uh, supply lines for chaos? I feel like I'm feeling like they don't, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm going to remove that gift for now. Let's see. Come on, Wolfric. Where are you going to go? Yeah, that spot that we just filled was for my hero, but he's out on acting on the campaign for now. So we might as well have it replaced. So we're at full 20 sync. The enemy bring reinforcements in case. to the fight. Wolfric does Will this. Attack be wise? It's a valiant defeat. I've got magic, but can I take on mammoths? How my marauders? He's got a load of marauders. I mean, my chaos units are tougher than his. Mammoth, that mammoth is real strong. I have not got that many missile units to deal with it. Ooh, he's been out hunting, yeah, with these guys. Be able to rebuild fairly quickly. We'll just be Bellic will be out of action for a few turns. Chaos doesn't run. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Bellic would not run. So there's reinforcements that come on in. Let's do it. We have two options fight or fight. <laughs> yeah, we can try and tie them up with uh, Bellic Here we go. I'm not sure we can do this, but let's give it a go. We've got the aspiring champions, though. If we can focus them on Wolfric, maybe tie them down with... Or but we probably want the Aspiring Champions actually to focus on the infantry. I think we need to shatter, try and deal with all that infantry and then focus on the single entity targets a little bit, i.e. Wolfric. The Mammoth's only dealing with sooner. I wish I had my champion in here now. Your soldiers are ready to deploy. I mean, they're attacking me, so I do get that benefit. Um, let's have demon. Uh, no, I'll have to keep the demon. That's where I put them, actually. Marauders through there. Missile troops. We need you to try and bring down the mammoths. Why does it always put them behind? Is there a way to turn that off? I feel like there is. Default. Drag out formation. Yeah, get rid of that. 
Yeah, there we go. Bounce pad is in my favor just yet. It probably won't be once those reinforcements show up. for his missile troops. Into shadow. Need them all bunched up so we can get a big old pendulum through that. Yes. Demonets. Get them. Pendulum through there, please. Since when has there's a regiment renowned that's multiple mammoths? Ah, I thought it was like just one big mammoth regiment renowned, but it, it's a whole pack of them. What's a pack of mammoths called? Pack of mammoths? Now I understand. I saw one comment that was like, there's six mammoths. And I was like, I'm only counting two. I was like, my, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. They do move in herds. <laughs> What do, you, what do you call a what do you call a pack of the dinner? A flock of mammoths? A herd? It'd be a herd, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So what's the, what's their stats like? Uh, forty nine attack, defense is low. That's an actual mammoth. Mm -hmm. I don't want to dive Bellicor in there because he's going to get picked off. So we'll send him over after that feral mammoth. I think. Yoinks. We need you guys doing some stuff. That that does slow them a bit. Attack your flank, Commander. I know. Hit it with that. Dark Master, so its attack is pretty weak now. Chaos Warriors, Aspiring Champions, push on through. Blood Letters get stuck in. Run from the yeah, it's the Warhounds. It's fine. Mammoth's gone frenzy. I am oh, Pendulum. Yes, please. Sin and <laughs> Missile troops pull round. Bellacor, Bellacor, over to the side of the map, please. Super fast, super fast, super fast. Hit him there. Bellacor, dive in here and shatter him a bit. Sparring champions are cutting their pathway through here. Send him in. Hit the Mar Marauder Berserkers. Trolls are back. I think we've got this. Bring that down. Oh, you guys are out of ammo. Yeah, flank. You guys ignore that lot. Hit these guys from the flank. Bear Lacour, what do we need for another pendulum? Are we still gaining power? We are. Yeah, it's fine. We've got this. We've got this. I'm confident. 
Get him as sparring champions. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing all right. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Chaos Warriors are holding well. Marauders, you will earn your keep this day. And by defeating Wolfric, we'll get whatever he, the defeat My trait is for him. That'll be nice. Scar them. Dark Master on him. Pendulum. Through here. Pain is a gift. Swing, swing, swing. Red, red. Smash Umbilical. Oh, yes. Yeah, they're going. They're going. Bounce power swinging. Yeah, it's going. Come on, Bellacore. Smash him. Show him not to mess with us. Get him. Oh, and you know you want to. Just like drop down and like teabag him. He can quite reach. What if we try and slow him down with this? That will cut his speed. Can I flap after him? I think I can. Friend. Well, I need to take him out, but it's just nice to, you know, sometimes dunk. I think it's because I'm flying. It's trying to like... There, there we go. Get on the ground. Go on. Slide on him. Get him. Get him. Nah, he's like, I can't. I can't. I can't get a, get a, get a run up that quickly. That's fine. We did good. We did good. Uh, the more we kill, the more souls we get. Is that how that works? That went well. Don't think we've lost a whole unit anywhere. Well, that's good. This guy barely even got into the fight. This Marauder. There we go. Take them all out, Melacor. That went well. Considering I was bricking it at the start, thinking, have I just messed up? No, it would seem. Oh, boy. Lost 500. Bellacor uh, Bella got 121 kills. Aspiring champions with 133. Mwah. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Hell Cannon with 119. Oh, Chaos Warriors, 147. Oh, we actually used the Demonettes right. Got 150. I was trying to just constantly flank with them. Nice. Yeah, it went, that went pretty well. Oh, we did. We lost one of the Plague Bearers. That's fine. Oh, God. Yeah, look at that. Sacrifice Captain. We get loads of souls. Uh, uh, yes. All your souls, please. Let them go. 